Hey everyone, we are going to continue our lesson today. We are going to be learning some more action signs. These signs are super helpful when you're communicating with your deaf uh, friends and family because a lot of them can represent whole sentences, even just with a single word. Um, so these are such great words to get in your body. Um, so I invite you to sign along with me and let's get going. Our first word today is the one we left off with yesterday, and that's to look to look, to look at, to gaze, to observe, to watch. Um, such a great sign to know if you're gonna look at something. Oh, I wanna look at that. Oh, can you, do you wanna watch that? Um, that could be like watching something on TV. Um, great sign to know. Next one is search, examine, quest. We make like a, a C hand and then we just go around our face. So eyebrow to eyebrow and then back around. And that's um, to search, examine, quest, seek, research. All of those words are this. And um, I can kind of remember that because like a monocle, like, oh, I'm studying that or researching that. So you're researching, you're searching, you're examining something like, oh, I really want to know more about that. To call or summon, if you want to call or someone, call or summon. You take them from the hand and you put them in your hand. To call, to summon. Awesome, yeah. Now this is different than the sign for call, like to call on a telephone. So this is, you know, to call someone over, to call someone over to summon them. If you get jury duty, you're, you got your summons. Um, and that's so to call or to call on the phone, different signs. Um, to notice, to notice, to note, to observe. And that's similar to the sign to um, like examine or inspect. Um, to examine, to inspect, you're kind of putting a little more effort into it. But just to notice something is just real quick. To notice, to observe. Awesome. Nice, nice. Hey, everybody. So the next sign is the one for commercial or um, commercial, publicize, announce. And we pretend like we have a trumpet and we just kind of bring it back and forth a couple times. So to announce, to advertise, um, publicity, that's a sign for that. The next sign is if you are tempted, you just kind of tap your elbow a couple times. And that's uh, just the little devil on your shoulder tapping you like, hey, do something wrong, do something bad. Uh, so to be tempted is that way. If you want to steal or embezzle something, it's kind of like sneaky. So you're um, kind of, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. You're stealing. Uh, to kill, murder, or slay. Um, you thought you're stabbing someone and twisting that knife. So to kill, murder, slay. Yeah, to tempt, entice. Show me the sign. Were you paying attention? Yeah. To steal, embezzle. Yep, to steal. Very nice. To advertise. Show me what the sign for advertise is. Very good. To destroy. Um, our hands start and we just kind of rip something back and forth. So our hands start apart and then they just kind of rip back and forth <sighs> to destroy or damage, abolish, um, demolish. So anything kind of in that genre, <sighs> destroy. Awesome. To conquer, defeat, subdue. You're here and you're conquering it. You're, you're subduing it. Very nice. That's similar to the, the sign for catch. Catch. Conquer, beat, defeat, overcome, subdue. Awesome, if you uh, surrender, someone has you in a tight position and you have to surrender. Oh, too much, I surrender. Yeah, yeah, surrender. That's similar to the sign for um, if you wanna leave. You wanna leave somewhere, the hands are kind of down in, in the party you're in and you're like, Ooh, I gotta get out of here, I wanna leave, I'm out. Um, so that's similar to the sign for just like, oh, I got to get out. But the surrender one starts with closed hands and comes up. Uh, it, it's a little more active of like um, defenseless. Surrender, I give up, I forfeit. If you're just at a party and want to leave, mm, I want to bounce. I don't want to be here. I want to leave. Nice. Um, if you want to scatter or spread, the hands just kind of symbolize spreading or scattering. So like if you had to like spread out or um, yeah, it's just spread or scatter. Very nice. The sign for bury, 
cemetery or grave, you just kind of show a mound in front of you. And that kind of shows, uh, symbolizes the, the mound in front of you. Um, yeah, so, oh, hey, I'm so glad everyone's joining. Um, it's nice to see people passing by. So bury, cemetery, grave, bury, cemetery, graves. Just kind of showing the little lump of dirt in front of us. Yeah, to spread, to scatter. Yep, our fingers represent little people and they're, they're spreading and they're scattering. To surrender, forfeit. I'm just doing a little review right now. To conquer, beat, or defeat. That's similar to the sign for catch. To conquer, defeat, subdue. Yeah, to, um, to drown. Uh, you pretend like this is water and these are two little legs falling down. Ooh. So if someone's drowning in water and you'd have to bury them in a cemetery. Bury, bury, drown. So sad, so sad. Uh, if someone breaks something, if you break, fracture, or snap, that could just be like, oh, I need to, to break bread with someone. Um, break, fracture, snap. This is one of my favorite signs. Um, it's the sign for stuck. And it's basically two fingers on the throat. And if you remember, this was the sign for fork. Um, and so I just kind of read, like, if someone has a fork to your neck, you're like, you're stuck, you're trapped. I can't go anywhere because if I move, I'm going to get stuck with a fork. Um, so that's just one of my, I don't know why, but I just like that sign. Like, oh, I was really in a bind. I was really stuck. I had a fork to my throat. Um, yeah, let's uh, give me the sign for break. I just gave it away. The sign for break. Give me the sign for bury or cemetery, grave. Yeah, you show a little lump of dirt. To surrender. Surrender. I surrender. Yep. To scatter or spread. Show me that sign. Yeah, spread. Very nice. You guys are doing great. Um, just a reminder, all of these lessons are on YouTube. So if you want to catch up on uh, previous days, uh, there's just 20 minute lessons. Uh, the link is in my bio. So feel free to check on that out if you want to um, just learn a little more or if you ever want to review a lesson. Uh, they're there for you. This is another fun sign. This one is escape. Um, <laughs> and it's just a sign. <sighs> the pointer finger comes out from behind the other hand. <sighs> I like that one. I gotta escape. Gotta get out of here. I'm sure some people are feeling that right now. You're with your family or your uh, roommates and you just want to bolt. You want to get out. You want to run off, flee, escape. To guard. Uh, to guard. Like, yep, there's a defense there. That was kind of like the sign for um, obstruct or block that we learned yesterday. It's very similar, but like to guard. To guard, defend. We're defending that. To rescue, deliver, free, redeem, independent, liberty. So it, it's basically showing like something in bondage being free. And so if you're rescued, if you're delivered, free, redeem, independent, liberty. Um, great sign, multiple words with that one sign. Um, revive. Uh, starts with the letter R and then it just revives. Like you're filling your lungs with air. <sighs> I want to revive that. Yeah, let's revive that. Whether it's a musical or an idea, let's, let's revive that. Yeah, to hide. You take your person here and it goes under to hide. And then you look around, you escape. <sighs> to hide, escape. Yeah, to scatter. Maybe to escape in different directions. <laughs> to hide. Show me hide. Awesome. That's great. To cover. We just cover our, our, our dominant hand covers our non-dominant hand. So we just cover that. So that seems like it could be hide, but that just means to cover. Uh, show me hide. Awesome. Very good. Uh, this one is turn. And this isn't like to turn this is like a physical turn like you're turning a steering wheel um and it just shows like gears and a watch or a clock turning um going around yeah turn careful we have to be careful these days there's many things to be careful about and these are eyes so you have a lot of eyes and you just have to be careful you gotta watch where you're going you have to be careful yeah be careful maybe the next sign maybe Perhaps, possibly, probably, maybe, 
That makes sense. I do that. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this is another helpful sign. Must, have, imperative, need, necessary, should, vital. So many words. Let me say those words again. You just make a, your index finger just kind of taps down in front of you. Must, have, imperative, need, necessary, ought, should, you should do that, you should do that, imperative, you need to do that, you need to do that, you must, you must, we must have liberty, we must have freedom, we must have freedom, we have to revive um, hiding and escaping, <laughs> um, to slip or slide, it's just two hands. We, we had done the sign for like fall, um, to, to rise up, to stand, to slip. Yep. Um, the difference between stand and fork is multiple taps. Fork, stand. Oh, I just, <laughs> I know one of my neighbors running by right now. How fun. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. Just kind of like a, like a saw, <laughs> back and forth. All right, before I turn the page, give me the sign for careful. Yeah, lots of eyes. Got to be careful. Be careful out there. It's kind of dangerous right now, so be careful. All right, um, the next sign is behavior. And just two letter Bs, just swinging back and forth. This shows behavior. This is similar to the sign for do, doing, work, um, yeah, behavior. Happen. Happen. Event. Occurred. It occurred. It happened. The event. Event. Occurred. Happen. Very, very good. Show me the sign for tempt if you were here. It's that little aching thing saying, hey, you need to do this. You need to do this. You need to steal or embezzle. Steal or embezzle. Tempt. To be restless, little legs, mm, just rolling back and forth. I'm restless. I'm sure a lot of people are restless right now. If you slip and fall and can't get up, you might get restless. Slip, restless. Imp uh, impress, emphasize, or stress that seal of approval. Oh man, I need to emphasize this. I can't stress this enough. Um, I need to um, really impress this upon you. Similar to the sign for show. I want to show or I want to demonstrate that. I want to show, but this is like, I really need to impress that upon you. Impress, impress that. Very good. Uh, next sign is persecute. So one person, two person. Persecute, ruin, destroy, um, damage, torment, spoil. Oh, and you know, the more you do it, facial expression really gives way to that sign and what it means. So like, if you're really damaging something, if you're really like persecuting, um, to ruin someone, to torment. Oh, I was just tormented. The tempter was tormenting me. Um, push, the sign for push is nice and easy. Push, push, yeah. Hit is just a single, a single person if you get hit. So that's a little different than um, torment or, yeah, hit. Strike, if you want to go on strike, you just raise that hand. Strike, rebellion, revolt. Strike, rebellion, revolt. Yeah. Um, similar to the sign for freedom. Freedom, uh, revolution, liberty, strike, rebellion. Yeah. To punish someone, punish, punish. To tempt, to steal, punish. Do that with me. Tempt, I'm oh, sorry, uh, punish. Show me punish. Got punished. Yep. Tempt, just that little aching on our elbow to do something we shouldn't be doing. To tempt and show me steal. The sign for kill, you're taking that knife and you're twisting it in someone's belly. <laughs> Twist. Yep. That's a sign for kill. Kill. Yeah. Hit. Um, to damage or torment. Good. Um, to spank. Yeah, so it's just, this is a person. Hello. And this is their booty. 
to spank. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like to be spanked. Sometimes you gotta be spanked. Meet or encounter. We're going to meet or encounter. It's just two people. Hello, I'm meeting you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, this is similar or opposite to the sign for divorce. Divorce is two Ds and they go away from each other, kind of in a circular motion, divorce. But if you're just meeting, encounter, uh, just two, two hands coming together. To welcome, you just kind of go to the side. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, to introduce is two hands. It's kind of like welcome on this side, welcome on this side. We're welcoming you together. So we're bringing them together. Yeah, awesome, introduce. Now, if you like the person you're meeting, you might want to flirt or philander a little. Flirt, philander. And if you flirt or philander, it might make you blush. Ooh, blush. That's the sign for red, and you're just showing that it's on your cheeks. Red cheeks. Ooh, I'm blushing because someone was flirting with me. That's different from the sign for scatter sign for scatter people scattering but it's similar like ooh, you want to like flirt oh i i see what you're getting at mm -hmm. oh you're gonna make me blush <gasps> are you blushing oh you're blushing i see you're blushing <laughs> introduce meet divorce um also this was uh, divorce and meet are similar to the sign for dessert tapping several times if you introduce me to a dessert, I'll be a very happy boy. <laughs> the sign for kiss is just an open hand. You bring it to your lips and then your cheek. Kiss. That's similar to the sign for home, where you eat and where you sleep. Where you eat and where you sleep. Yeah, kiss. Show me the sign for blush. Excellent. This, uh, I hope I got you smiling today a little bit. Smiling. You just kind of show how a smile works. Smile. To laugh or chuckle. Um, you just kind of show the, the uh, lips going up and down. Ha 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 ha. Just point your fingers. So to smile. Smile, grin. This is laugh, chuckle. Ha 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 ha. Congratulate. With your words, you applaud. You take words and you congratulate someone. Mm, congratulations. Encourage, motivate. I love this sign. Um, you just outstretch hands and they just kind of push someone forward. And I feel like that's what encouragement is. It's just kind of a, an ushering someone forward. So to encourage, to motivate, yeah. To applaud. Um, if you're actually like saying the word applaud in a, in a social setting, if there's uh, deaf people around and they're actually applauding, um, they wiggle their hands like this, um, and then you can see the applause, you can see the praise, and that's kind of a, a cool thing that culturally um, the deaf and the hard of hearing people do. So they can actually see applause. Um, but if you're actually speaking about applause or ovation, you're like, oh, there was a standing ovation, um, just clap your hands. Congratulate, show me congratulate. Yeah, congratulate. And our last word for today is celebrate. Celebrate, ooh, party, yeah. <laughs> celebrate, celebrate, this is cheer, triumph, victory. Uh, we have freedom, so we have so much to celebrate. We have liberty, we have so much to celebrate. Um, yeah, I hope that these lessons have encouraged you and motivated you. Um, Again, we have, I post all these on YouTube. Um, oh, good, good, good. If you have any comments or suggestions that would make this better, um, just let me know. Um, people have been posting little things or uh, direct messaging me and it's really helpful. Um, like I was signing down here a couple days ago and someone said they couldn't see over the comment. So I'm trying to sign a little higher today. Um, but if there are um, any comments or anything that you can think that would help make this uh, better or a more enjoyable experience, let me know. I'm happy to incorporate stuff. It's gonna help us um, learn better together. Um, so all of these lessons are going to be posted on YouTube. Um, the link is in my bio. If you want to review, I also, in the description of the video, I put all the words. So if you ever wanted to open 